Hey guys, what's up? So we have a 31-in-1 precision screwdriver set and it's made by I can't pronounce. It's in the title of the video. Um, I wouldn't even venture a guess, but H-U-I-D Y-S-M I don't have no idea. <clears throat> anyway, there's another company on YouTube that also has this uh, called Tov Mekjin uh, T-O-V-M-E-K DGN. Anyways, so they asking $25 for their kit. I think I paid around $25 for this one too. Because I bought this with another electronic screwdriver. My whole bill was only like $50 something. So I think it was around that price range anyhow. It was about $20, $25. Anyhow, so it um, comes in a little cardboard box and a envelope of all things. Anyhow, it's all aluminum so nothing's going to get hurt that easy during shipping. Pretty neat little device. Let me just zoom out here a bit so we can see better. And uh, I bought this to go along with my big kit that I have because my big kit does not have what this does. Extra long bits. So you get into a situation with your precision kit that only has the shorter bits and you need longer, well, you're kind of out of luck. But if you buy one of these little kits, you're going to get extended length bits. You're also going to get a metal spudger. This is stuff's all held in magnetically too, which is cool. This is actually a nicer quality spudger than the one that came with my big kit. It's like, wow, that's pretty sweet. And of course, we have some straight tweezers. The other kit, I believe, has the curved tweezers. But um, anyways, all this stuff is held in magnetically too. Um, now we just got to get it back in here somehow. Give it a good squeeze. There we go. Oh, it popped a bit out. So, although the magnet, I wouldn't say, is massively strong, it's strong enough to hold this stuff in place. So, you know, you're, you're pretty okay. You know, it's, it's going to be fine. The other bonus to this kit is, of course, if you pinch the two bottom pieces together here, and you push up, you have a manual screwdriver. So now I have two electronic screwdrivers and a manual. So if I really feel like just using manual, I've got that option now. And this is a really nice quality uh, tool too. And it's got the spinny head on it as well. So you just take a bit and uh, once you can dig one out, voila, pop her in there. Holds in really pretty decently. I wouldn't say it's got a really super strong magnet but it's enough to hold the bit there so it's not gonna fly out on you. So, and you can further magnetize these bits if you have any kind of a magnet at home um, or if you have a kit with a magnetizer little block like I do, then you're good to go there and you can put extra magnetic force onto the bit. Very simple too. Let me just grab that kit here. Sorry for my head being in the way. So this is my big kit, which I like. And uh, what a difference in the spudgers too. I mean, this is really long and this is a really good grade steel where this is uh, still good, but it kind of looks a little more cheaped out in its make than that, that one, but who cares? Got two. Um, but anyway, so the magnetizer block, let me just dig it out. Now this block will magnetize or demagnetize. So sometimes you may not want something magnetized and uh, you've got that option with this. So our top is demagnetized, bottom is magnetized. So we can just, you know, go back and forth, you know, and that actually helped it a little tiny bit there. Better for the screws though, but you just rub it back and forth, and away you go. If you want to demagnetize, go to the top end, back and forth. Totally takes the magnetism away. So, really cool tool to have kicking around, for sure. Anyway, <coughs> um, as far as these bits, they're looking really good quality, and I would say they're the equal uh, to the ones from my main kit. But you can see there's a huge difference in length here between, you know, that's like about almost a half an inch longer. That's that's pretty decent. So more depth is a good thing when you need it. Um, but I mean, your short bits, they're gonna get you around a lot of jobs really easily, but sometimes you need a slightly longer bit 
And this is what this is for, for me, um, is for that sort of purpose. And uh, so now I got both. I don't need any more bits. So we get uh, eight more Torxes. We get eight Torxes. Now, these are, a lot of them are going to probably be, well, they're probably all going to be the same size. Yeah, they're going to be all the same size as what you currently have in the bigger kit, except these are longer in length. Um, we've got a, uh, a Phillips head here. We've got a flat. We've got um, a, um, I guess they call it a, I don't know what you would call it. It's not, well, Phillips is like a star tip, so this is like a three blade. Um, and then you've got another Torx here. Um, and, of course, you've got a couple, three more Phillips heads and a Torx. You've got uh, three flats and the little forky tool thing. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Um, but then you've got some Robinson stuff. You've got a triangle uh, screwdriver, which I found out Apple actually uses those. Uh, go figure. And I've got, I think, a few different sizes of those, so I'm good to go for working on Max. Um, then we've got this other um, triangle shape, shape bit as well, a little bit bigger size. And then uh, another two torxes, and I guess, um, I don't even know what, what that bit would be here. Let me just pull it out. Now these are also security bits too, these torxes. Yeah, that's kind of like, just like a, almost like a plus sign. That's kind of uh, interesting. All right, well, if we ever run across it, we'll know. But I think these torxes are all, yeah, they looks like they're all security type bits, ones that can be used as one anyway. So not a bad kit, aluminum case for it. Just pop it in, push and release. Not going anywhere, push and release again, comes out. You want your, your bit, push in here at the bottom, pop her out, away you go, you got your driver. That's pretty awesome little kit for the money. So, between this and this, I don't think you're gonna need anything else. You're golden to go. Only thing is, this won't fit inside this and close up, but that's okay, no big deal. So I would say, I mean, there was no reviews on this thing either, which was kind of interesting. But um, they do say it's made out of S2 chromium vanadium alloy, um, harder, more durable than ordinary steel, obviously sand blasted surface, anodes treatment, anti-sweat, anti-corrosion, um, magnetic tips, of course, 31 items total. Um, the price is no longer listed because I bought the last one <laughs> of this brand. Um, they're like, one left! And I'm like, yeah, not anymore. Mine. Scoop. But if you want the exact same kit but from another brand name, there is that one here by Tov McGin. T-O-V-M-E-K-D-G-N. Or D-J-N. Sorry, D-J-N. Um, then they do have five left in stock. $25.05 Canadian. Okay, and uh, so that's actually pretty decent uh, for that. And it has all the exact same parts. It's the identical kit, just, and it's still going to be all naked around the surface with no name. Um, you know, same, same everything in this kit, like exactly the exact same kit. Um, so that, that's, that's all good to go. Um, but that's, that's another option to get this in a square format like this and with these long bits and they're all marked exactly the same color pattern same positions everything's the same it's just made uh from a company it's, the brand is called tove tove mcgin i guess t-o-v-m-e-k-d-j-n so look up 31 in one precision screwdriver on amazon.ca.com you're going to find this kit there somewhere under some some seller's name uh, this is the only other one they're showing me currently right now on the top of the uh, thing. But there may be other sellers with the exact same thing. And I, I think that that's worthwhile investment. Because even if you were just needing just these bits alone, and you didn't need a kit like this, like I, I need both, 
um, then this is pretty good for the money. Like for, for 25 bucks that the, the other company wants, that's a sweet deal. And like I said, I think I paid about the same for this anyways. It doesn't actually show on my Amazon uh, link on my page. Um, it just says, you know, it's, uh, well, it's, I'm probably still going to say out for delivery. Um, yeah, it still says, oh, yeah, it still says out for delivery. So once they change it, then we'll see the price again of what I paid for it. But otherwise, i got to go to my invoice, and I buried that in my email account. Anyway, um, I would give this a good solid 4 out of 5. I think it's definitely worth that for sure. And it makes a great addition to any kit that has the shorter length bits. This is going to give you quite a variety, which you should be able to have no problem with the majority of them, if not all of them, depending on what you do. You'll have longer length bits if you run into that area where you need a longer bit. And if you just need a manual driver too, it already has a manual driver with it. So you're set to rock and roll with this thing. So that's fantastic. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys on this one. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.